Good morning. It's Friday, August 18th, 2023. My name is Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled, The Gift of Morning Dew, and our scripture is Psalm 133. How wonderful and pleasant it is when brothers live together in harmony, for harmony is as precious as the anointing oil that was poured over Aaron's head, that ran down his beard and onto the border of his robe. Harmony is as refreshing as the dew from Mount Hermon that falls on the mountains of Zion. And there the Lord has pronounced his blessing, even life everlasting. Harmony produces synergy. That's when everything works together to have a result which is greater than the sum of its individual parts. The psalmist tells us it's a wonderfully pleasant reality. Most people misunderstand its source. It's a gift from God. The psalmist compares Mount Hermon's misty morning dew flowing down as a gift over the blistering summer heat that parches the entire region. Without that refreshing dew falling on the lower region of Zion's hills, the scorched earth would produce famine and death. And since humankind is not in charge of the earth's atmosphere or weather, it's the hand of the Creator Jehovah Jireh, who provides that misty lifesaver. It is so with harmony. One individual human being's decision to work together is simply that, one unselfish decision. To have even the slightest chance of germinating into harmony requires the cooperating touch of another. But even a crowd of cooperators working like carpenter ants cannot produce genuine harmony without the dew of God's gift. Much like Colonel Sanders' fried chicken venture, the chicken, the flour, the spices, the frying pan, and the cornflakes were already there. But it wouldn't have synergized into that wonderful original and crispy unless the white-bearded man put them together. In a much greater way, God designed human life to be saturated with this gift of harmony, soaked with kindness, forbearance, generosity, patience, joy, peace, gentleness, and love. The opposite is selfishness, impatience, greed, petulance, anger, violence, crudeness, and isolation. These are known by their common name, sin. For you today, living together in harmony is something of a delicate art as tenuous as thinking that two cats with their tails tied together will be able to keep their cool more than three seconds. But God made it possible for us to dwell together in peace as families, neighborhoods, countries, races, and any other diverse complication in the universe with another kind of quote-unquote dew that drips down from Golgotha. It's the precious blood of Jesus Christ. This is the gift of ultimate synergy for the soul, and it's the only solution that will bring peace in this lifetime or eternity. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.